Hey what's up guys it's Shorzo here and welcome back to another video of rebuilding the Sanctuary Hills. This is the fourth house I've fixed up so far and this is basically going to be the trading post of the whole of the Sanctuary Hills where people can trade with the Minutemen basically. In this video I'll be showing you how I fixed up everything without using any mods whatsoever with a finished tour at the end. Enjoy guys. So I've made myself a rug glitch blueprint and if you're a regular to the channel you can probably guess that I'm quite obsessed with the rug glitch. I mean, it does everything, so what's not to love? So, for those who don't know, I'm basically making a blueprint where I've put a rug down with a set of stairs with this massive platform. And this is going to allow me to carry one massive piece and hopefully try and glitch it into the rooftop. And yeah, so it's uh, platforms that go across four and it goes down by three. And I'm going to be using these box cars this time, or train carts, whatever you want to call them. I'm purposely overlapping it a little bit going across the stairs because it gives me a bit of leeway putting it into the rooftop i'll explain once we attempt it so yeah i'm keeping them different colors just to mix and match it make it look nice and scrappy but for these back ones i'm only using the half ones because otherwise it's going to be way too long and they're going to be sticking out i found out this length is the perfect length for this particular house Again, mixing up the colours with the other side. And on the side here, there's an opening which I can fill up with a door, which is quite nice. You can open these doors, but that doesn't matter. We're not going to see it. Of course, it mixes up the colour even more, putting these doors down. And yeah, that's the blueprint finished. I'm just going to hold down A and pick up the rug. This allows me to pick up everything. I'm going to try and get it angled in there nicely. And yeah, because I've overlapped it onto the stairs, it lets me push it in a bit more. There's nothing more to that really, it just works. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with the placement with these. They're in a position that I want them to be. On the other side, you can see it's quite equal on each side of it. But unfortunately, there were times where placing the rug glitch, it would be slightly off. So an example here, it was a bit too far to the left. So it did take me a few attempts. It took me at least six times to place this now and again, just to try and get the right position. But eventually I got it. And with the platform underneath, luckily I can put some walls up against the um, train carts here. And it's right up tight against it as well, which is good. Whereas this, there's no platform there, but you can literally sit it on the roof here and sink it into the, to the train carts there. It's more easier if you have the walls back to front because they sink in a lot better doing it this way and yeah luckily i can just build the rest i might do something different with the end one here maybe a metal one i might use this for a sign so i don't want too much going on i'm gonna do the same with the other side and yeah as you can see you can see the railings above on the train carts there i might use them for like dangling some lights down or something it might look cool and moving on to the flat roof, I'm going to cover it up a bit more with some small pieces. I'm not going to cover it up completely, I still want to see some colour. It's nice to have a bit of colour because everything's going to look a bit depressing. I mean, it's the, the world's depressing anyway, so <laughs> might as well. Colour's not going to do much, is it? But yeah, there's this door here and there's a bit of an opening, so I might do something with that a bit later. I'm not sure what, I might, I don't know, you'll see in the tour later. And with the top, I've just thrown a bunch of junk on like I have with the others, just to make it look a bit scrappy. But yeah, overall, that is the rooftop completely finished. All that's left to do now is fix up the walls, put some wood onto the walls here and there, fix up some holes. And on the front of the house where the little area is here, I'm gonna, I might do something different here. I might wall it all off, but you'll see a bit later. But before we do all that, I'm gonna stabilize the roof a bit, cause yeah. We don't want the roof caving in. So I've made a few more blueprints just to chuck a load of wood on the walls, some small pieces and big pieces here and there. But I just want to mention um, the Fallout series has just come out and I cannot wait to watch it. I'm actually going to watch it tomorrow night when I've got a bit more time. I'm so excited for it, man. Everyone's saying it's really good. And yeah, I'll, I'll probably talk about it in my next build video and just and I'll tell you guys what I think. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I couldn't put any metal there, so I just had to hang some pictures. Now, I do want to block this area off, but these walls are a little bit too small. But these other ones that have a bit of a lip on top of them, these are perfect for it. These completely cover the gap. Placing it in the corner, it should fit nicely. 
let's have a look. Yep, it's right up against the uh, metal pillars there. These are perfect for this kind of build in this area of the house. I'm going to do one the other side as well. Hopefully that place is nicely in there. Line it up with that pillar. Nicely done. And of course the other side is a mu much larger opening. So I'm going to be using three of these walls and this should fit in there perfectly. I think three walls are like the perfect size for this gap. I had to get rid of some rubber tires that were in the way, but I've managed to keep the concrete in front of the um, armor workbench there. But yeah, that fits perfectly in there. Really happy with that. I want to do a nice seating area on this flat roof up here. So I'm simply going to put a ladder down to get up on. And I'm going to build a platform so I can put some barricades around it maybe. Just straighten that up a bit. So yeah, this is basically going to be a Minutemen station. So it's where people can trade with them, uh, shop with them, fix some stuff up. I'm thinking of actually turning this platform into like a little cafe maybe, where people could go up and eat. But yeah, I don't want the settlement to be entirely about the Minutemen. I kind of want it to be a bit mixed. So I've basically given them their own house so they can do what they want within this house. Just finishing up some barricades and overall it's finished now in terms of the structure. I've still got a lot of decorating to do so don't go anywhere yet because the true transformation is going to happen any second now. But yeah overall I'm really happy with how it looks so far. Right so I'm going to go ahead off camera and tidy some stuff up. Going to put some few extras in there maybe. And with the inside I'm going to keep a lot of the furniture stuff that was originally in there and try and tidy it up a bit basically. But yeah, thank you for watching the build and I will see you guys in the tour. So here it is. And uh, from the looks of it, Mama Murphy is on one again. Let's uh, leave her be. But yeah, anyways, before we go on the inside, as always, I'll show you the outside quickly. And it's basically the Minutemen Center. So you've got a bit of everything. Uh, you've got a general store on the window here. There's a prison in there. You've got a cafe, but I'll show you that later when we go on the inside. Uh, not much around here. I've had to put the power up on the outside because there wasn't much room on the inside, so Nothing much on that side Let's go around to this side at the back garden. I haven't done anything yet I've kept the original plants there though, so they've not moved, but I might put some better plants in there later on But yeah, I've just put some odd bits and pieces on the back there And yeah, I did dangle some lights up there because it just seemed perfect for it uh, the original armor bench was there with the concrete and up here is the little cafe where people could go up and eat and yeah I did do something with the door nothing special but so when we open up we literally open the door and it says open that's all I could think of really because you can't really put anything inside it so I've just I've flattened it out with a picture with an open sign so yeah, not bad little cafe area. Happy with that. So if we go on the inside. Yep, uh, she's still on drugs there. <laughs> uh, we've pretty much got a lot of it original. So I, I like to keep the scrap on the floor. Because that's something you can't build. I know it looks messy, but it's a messy world, isn't it? Uh, they've got a turret. The orig original uh, workbench. Most of you who have played this, you probably recognize a lot of the stuff that was already in here, so. Are you okay? <laughs> right, on the inside, I've glitched in the um, shop here with the rug glitch. Pretty nice, they're perfect size windows for it, so. It's a general store, so they can just buy anything, basically. Um, most of the stuff in here is original furniture, like the chairs, tables and stuff. Um, kitchen area is pretty much the same as I said in my previous builds a lot of the stuff inside the houses will change over the time so once I go out and adventure I'm gonna collect some stuff put some stuff on the tables ready for that big video one day when every single house is done uh, this is the prison not a bad prison I must say um, I put a lot of numbers on the wall just to make it look like someone's gone insane in there or something yeah, it's not bad. It's all right. And this is basically the Minutemen office where they negotiate deals and so on. Whatever you like to pretend doing. Um, I've made it look like there's power in this box, but 
I tried to rock glitch it into the uh, the ice box here, but I couldn't do it, so I've just put it on the outside and um, made it look like it's connected, basically. But yeah, that is pretty much finished. And uh, yeah, she's still on one. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you want to see more builds like this, there's plenty more coming. I think there's one, two, three there. These two over here, I might just do the same thing of which I've done with these two houses or the other one because the rooftops on here are too far gone, really. There's nothing, I can't really, um, I can't really think of anything with these rooftops except foundations, really. But yeah, we'll think of something. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.